The lengths of pregnancies are normally distributed with a mean of 265 days and a standard deviation of 15 days. In a letter to an advice column, a wife claimed to have given birth 305 days after a brief visit from her husband, who was working in another country. Find the probability of a pregnancy lasting 305 days or longer, and what does the result suggest? Now, in order to determine the probability that a pregnancy lasted 305 days or longer, we want to draw a normal curve and then label the given values for x and mu, which is the mean, and then shade the appropriate region. So, since we are interested in 305 or more, we're going to shade to the right. So, let's go ahead and first draw our bell curve. So I'm going to draw our bell curve and then label everything that we need to label. So we draw our bell curve and then we're going to place where the mean is. So the mean is given to be in the part 265 days. So therefore this is 265 days. So this represents X which represents days. Okay and it says we want to put in 305 so that's to the right of 265. So we want to have 305 and that's what X represents or more. So we want to shade to the right. So we want to do is we want to figure out what is the probability here that's shaded to the right. So what we're looking for is the probability here. Okay. Now before we do that we want to then apply the Z scale And recall that our z mean is going to be 0, and we're looking for the z score that's associated with the value of 305. So in order to do that, we're going to then find the corresponding z score for 305 days, where x is 305, the mean is 265, and the standard deviation is 15, and then round it to two decimal places. So what we want to do now is take the, the value of x, which is 305, and then we're going to subtract the mean, which is 265, and then divide that by the standard deviation of 15. So 305 minus 265 divided by 15 gives us 2.666667. Approximate this to two decimal places gives us 2.67. So now we can say that this z-score up here is 2.67 and that's associated with a score of 305 and we want to find the area that's to the right using that Z score. So find the area to the right of Z is equal to 2.67 and then round it to four decimal places. So we're going to open up StatCrunch. Okay, we're going to select Stat, go to Calculators, and then we're going to select Normal. Okay, we want to make sure that we have a mean of 0, a standard deviation of 1. Now, since it's to the right, we're going to select the greater than or equal to sign, and then we're going to put in 2.67, and then select Compute. And then let's go ahead and copy our probability. So, rounding that to four decimal places, we should get 0 0.0038. So up here, 0 0.0038 represents the probability that's to the left of 305 or more. So we would say the probability that a pregnancy will last 305 days or longer is 0 0.0038. Now, if the length of pregnancy is in the lowest 4%, then the baby is premature. Find the length that separates premature babies from those who are not considered premature. Now in order to determine the length of pregnancy that separates the premature babies from those who are not premature, we want to draw a normal curve and shade the area corresponding to the lowest 4%. So what we want to do is we want to begin by finding the z-score 
such that the area under the normal standard curve to the left of the z-score is 4% or 0.04 and then rounded to four decimal places. So let's go ahead and draw our bell curve. Okay, and again, we want to label what we have for our mean. Remember that the mean is 265. And we know that X represents the amount of days. And so what we want is uh, to the left of 0 0.04. So that means over here on the left, we want to shade 4%. So this is what we have right now. We have the area, which represents 4%, which we can also call 0 0.04. And so what we want to do is we want to find out what is the X value, meaning how many days would that be, which is less than the 4%. So underneath that, we need to then look at our z-scale. And remember that our z-scale always has a mean of zero. So we need to find out what is the z-score first. And then we can find out what the x value is. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and find the z-score. So we're going to open up Stat Crunch, And then we're going to go to Stat. And then select Calculators. And then go to Normal. Okay, we know that we have 0 and 1, and we know it's going to be less than because we want to find the area that's shaded to the left, so we want to make sure it's pointing in that direction. And then we're going to put in the area of 0 0.04 to find out what that z-score is here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So you can see here that we get a z-score rounded to two decimal places to be negative 1.75. So this is negative 1.75 and since it is to the left of zero it should be a negative value. So therefore that is the z-score. So it's negative 1.75. Now, now we want to calculate the value of x corresponding to the z-score of negative 1.75 for a non-standard normal distribution with a mean of 265 and a standard deviation of 15 and then rounding it to the nearest integer. So to find x we're going to plug in the following values. We know the mean is 265. We know the value of z is negative 1.75 and we know that the standard deviation is 15. So if we take 15 multiply it by negative 1.75 and then add 265, we get 238.75, and then rounding it to the nearest integer gives us 239. Thus, babies who are born on or before 239 days are considered premature.